with another video. So this will be a story time video. So yeah, it will be about my toe surgery I got back in May 2019. So um yeah, by the way, this video will not be like disgusting or anything. So yeah, that's just a heads up. Now let's get started into the video. And sorry if I sound like I'm bad grammar. I'm filming this at like around 1 to 2 in the morning. So yeah, because I have nothing to do and I'm not tired. And I'm still on summer break currently when I'm posted this. So yeah, okay, now let's get actually into the video. So, it all started when I got an ingrown toenail, like, uh, those things hurt, like, it got infected, and I had it for a couple years, and, yeah. So, the first time, like, I had to get it done, like, October 1st, 2018, I remember the date for this one. Like, I was heading there, blah, 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 then, like, so I got called into the room, then the doctor put some numbing stuff in, like, it kind of hurt, like, so badly, I was, and I was so terrified, I was, like, terrified, I almost started crying from how terrified it was, I was. So then the doc we waited a little while. The numbing stuff did not work really good. I could still feel the doctor touching my toe. So then he added more numbing stuff and blah, blah, blah. I could still feel it. Then he, he just, then a little while later, he just starts doing my toe. And I start screaming and crying from all the pain I feel. Like I was, it would hurt so badly. Like I feel like I just got like, yeah, stabbed right in the toe. I was crying so much. Then he bandaged it up, bandaged it up and he's like, oh, I can't do any more. She's going to like, finish front bob whatever then he like legit bandaged it up then i could not put my shoe on like it hurt so badly like i was limping he's like oh put your shoe on i'm like bro it hurts so badly well i didn't say that but yeah i hurt and then he's like joking around calling me like one of the worst patients ever like and i, was, and I almost started crying from how offense offended i feel I was, and I, I was thinking bro you're not, rude so then i left i was kind of in pain for a few hours or so i don't remember a bunch after but yeah so that next time like I went to like a better doctor in my opinion like he was so much better like but still i was still terrified from that past experience but like so after all, i got called into the room and junk like the doctor was putting the numbing stuff in or whatever like after we set up i was screaming and crying because it hurt so badly when he did that but after the numbing stuff i like there was less pain when that doctor actually started doing my toe because the last doctor did not really do much because i was like screaming and crying but yeah i, I still felt a little pain but like like when I said I felt pain, or yeah, the doctor stopped for a little bit and then just moved to another part of my toe. And like the last doctor, I was telling him to stop. I was screaming, stop! But he didn't even do anything. He just kept going on. Non-stop. Okay, back to this. So yeah, and then yeah, my ingrown toenail did not heal after that. Nothing worked still, like. And then I think after that was my back surgery thing. Like the, since my toe is still not healed, like they did something to my toe during my back surgery as well back surgery but still that did not work i think uh, uh, but yeah i don't know really i just can't remember much from this now to the actual surgery part so it's may 23rd i think 2019 it was a thursday i know that thursday so then i was heading to the hospital but yeah and then they got me all in and stuff and then yeah so then they made me lay down on this bed well it was kind of like it had I leaned against it. it was, I wasn't laying all the way down. I was just leaning against the thing. So, but I could. But I still watched TV. It was on Disney Channel, of course. This little kid show was on, but I was just enjoying it for some reason. I don't remember what it's called at all. But yeah, then they asked me if I wanted an asthma mask thing to put me to sleep or a, like IV. Like because the last two times, or not the, I don't even know. Like the not the one during my back surgery. The other two. Like, I was awake, but okay. So then they asked me, and I chose an asthma mask, and yeah, and then they chose, they asked me, like, what chapstick I wanted to use, like, so I, it could smell better instead of smelling the a actual asthma smell, which they said it smelled like markers. Then I chose the chapstick, then they put it on the asthma mask and made me smell it, then I felt kind of a little sleepy then, because, yeah, it's an asthma mask thing. That they put it on your, like, nose and mouth to go to sleep. Like, yeah, so, yeah, I just... Then they like, yeah. So I felt kind of a little dozy after for a little bit, but I was still awake for a little bit. Then after all that, the nurse like helped to like calm me down, but I was still very nervous. Like the nurse, one of the nurses sound, kind of sounded like James Charles, so it reminded me of him. But yeah, I didn't tell them, I didn't tell them that though. No offense, I don't mean that in a bad way. But then after all that, blah, 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 getting ready. So then they whittled me to the operating room a little while later, left my mom to wait. 
So then they wheeled me to the operating room. It only took like a minute or so to get there. When they actually opened the doors to the operating area, I see these blue lights on the ceiling. I think it was that day. Like, they were just blue lights across the whole ceiling too. And then they actually got into the actual operating room. And they put me on this table. Like, they made me move to a table, and then, yeah. I still had my grumpy cat with me, I think. I actually don't remember it 100%. Then they actually got me situated and put the asthma mask on me. And, yeah, like, it took me a minute because I was, like, terrified. Like, I was so nervous, and I was just breathing it. And I felt myself starting to doze off more and more. And I felt my whole body going numb, and I felt like it was getting cool. Like, I had this cooling sensation feeling. Like, I felt it was, like, going really cold. And I started calming down as it... Yeah, and I kind of smelled the chapstick and that marker smell of the asthma thing. Like, it actually did smell like markers, to be honest. I got that marker smell a little bit, so. But yeah, then, yeah, I felt my whole body went cool. I still felt my eyes wide open, but then, yeah, everything went out and I went to sleep. And so then, after all that, I woke up. I st and I woke up with my grumpy cat right, right on my lap. Nobody, like, I don't know if they took it off during the surgery even. I'm still curious to this day. And yeah, like I woke up with it on my lap. And I was like, oh, cool. I was thinking that probably. And then they asked me if I wanted a slushy or a popsicle. I said like an orange like popsicle thing and a like red slushy. Like the popsicle is orange. It tastes like orange and the slushy tastes like a cherry flavor. So then I drank the land and ate the popsicle. And then my, like, my mom came to see me too afterwards. I don't know how long the surgery took. I think it took around maybe like 50 minutes. I don't know even. Maybe even way less than that. But I know it took an hour or less. But yeah, so after I ate my popsicle, I really enjoyed the popsicle, but I did not really, I wasn't a big fan of the slushy. But of course my toe was all wrapped and it was in pain. Ugh, pain. Like I could barely walk. I would like be one thing. So yeah, after like, it was time to leave and stuff a little while later. But yeah, I came back to the TV, the, to another room. But, like I don't remember if there was a TV in there or not. Probably was. And it was off. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Then yeah. Then I got put in a wheelchair down to the doors, and then, yeah, I had to get up, and I could not walk. So I went to the bathroom, and did, yeah, then I got out. I could not walk at all. Like, it was so hard. I was limping. I could not walk on that foot at all. So then I walked up to the car, and then the drive home was, like, an hour. Like, the drive there was an hour. And it, it, my toe was in pain the whole time. I could not even wear my shoes, so I had to put my sock on. So, yeah, and then, yeah, like, the doctors were saying I could go back that Monday like I had to. But Monday was Memorial Day, and I had the day off from school. I didn't go to, so once I got home, I just relaxed. My toe was still hurting for a little while. Then the weekend passed. Like, I didn't go to school the next day on that Friday. But yeah, I didn't bother. But then by the time it was Tuesday, I felt my toe did not hurt and I was fine enough to go back to school. So yeah, and to this day, my toe is still kind of healing. Like, it just looks weird. I don't want to show it because some people may think it's disgusting, but it's still kind of healing, actually. And it's like August 20th, 2019 already when I'm filming this. Um, yeah, that's my story. So this is like my first story time video, so I hope you all enjoyed. And I'm sorry if this is kind of bad. I tried. I, I'm not good at these story time videos yet. But yeah, guys, that's all. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. And yeah.